Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be the new mods for May 25th, 2021. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome to the mod review for May 25th of 2021. As always, if you're looking for a specific mod down below in the YouTube slider bar, you should be able to skip ahead to whatever mod you're looking for. But we're going to go ahead and start off by talking about some updates for today. So updates that were released today, we had an update to the John Deere 6M series by Blower. We had an update to the JCB telehandler attachments by Ross N Mods. An update to the Seller by uh, Pizel360. An update to the Kamara uh, PF65 uh, Calaruga modding design. And then continuing from there, we also had updates to the medium old cow shed with, who knows? Um, I have, can't even pronounce that either. Uh, then we had an update to the dairy, the dairy sheep by ER Shaba. An update to the lizard tricycle king uh, by Sloot. Slew Tice Mod, I can't talk today, guys, need more coffee. And an update to the Ray Bluebird 3000 by Vervex Design. Uh, continuing on there, trust me, we're almost done here. Uh, updates to the Ursus T127 Plus by uh, Camilos0397. An update to the John Deere X9 2020 US version uh, by Sid Modding. Um, so those are updates for today. We also had a new map release today uh, called Poppy Plains. I will be doing a map tour of this that will be coming out later on today for you guys to watch. All right, our first new mod for the day is the Deutz D8006 to 13006, year of manufacture 1973-1977. This is by Speedy012, Player1, one, uh, Puma, Danny86, Olden Farm, and Envia TH, and Peter AH. This is 5.89 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. Um, this um, is going to be found in the store under... Small tractors down at the very end here. So there's the 77 version of the 1973, both 26, 399 to buy. And I can tell you they both have the same configuration options from going through them all. Uh, rim color you can adjust, main color you can adjust, and design color you can adjust. And actually that's the one thing I didn't check on each one. So this one might have yeah slightly darker green it looks like, but otherwise mostly the same stuff. So a little bit different in the color configurations. But otherwise under configuration you have standard, front hydraulic, Front hydraulic with PTO, back to standard. You could have old or nothing as far as the beacons go. You can have old left, old right, old both, um, new nothing, new left, new right, new right and left, and then back to old nothing. Now, I'm not sure what the difference between old nothing is and new nothing is, but they're both on there. Uh, you have air filter little, which is this guy right here. Air filter filter or big, not large. We'll stay, well, geez, I can't talk. Told you guys it's gonna be a rough one today. <laughs> <laughs> wheel setup uh, we have standard we have default uh, adjustable rim we have adjustable rim tuned wide tires wide with uh, the adjustable rim in there different version of it rear twins twins narrows back down to standard uh, the engine setup for the 8006 it's 80 horsepower then the 10006 is 100 horsepower then we have the 13006 which is 120 horsepower then back down to standard so a few different options on there for you guys Beacon lights, lights, one, two, three, off, one, two, three, off, one, two, three, off, horn, sounds great, it's a really cool old tractor actually, I like the look of them, so yeah, if you're looking for an older tractor, this might be just the thing you're looking for, um, let's see here, we'll do turn signals, left, right, right, left, and then what else we got here? Make sure I don't miss anything. Mirrors adjust. That's kind of cool. Holding the left mouse button up and down. We'll move them out further. Both mouse buttons. This is crane tool. What in the world? Oh, am I still adjusting the mirrors? Yes, I am. I'm adjusting them around. Um, right mouse button is still adjusting the mirrors. Up and down is still adjusting the mirrors. <laughs> you have so many mirror adjustments you could make. I don't know if those are on console as well, but um, it does say they're for all platforms. So there you go. And this one sounds the same. But there you go. Otherwise, in the cab of this one here. Looks good. Like that the lights come on. In here. In the cab. Yeah, very nice. Everything seems to work out just fine. Well, there you go. That's the Deutz D8006 and 1306. Year manufactured 1973 and 77. Moving on from there, we have the Agro Park Weight Pack. This is by Shizmalzerzessa, sorry, 
5.51 megabytes to download. Um, this guy is for all platforms as well. If I look in the store, scroll over to here real quick, go down to the end. Oh, also that Deutz has a weight in the pack as well. But then for this one that we're talking about right now, the Agro Park, 600, 800, and 1200 kilogram weights in here. Um, so yeah, different options there. Uh, if we go into them in here, we can adjust the color. But other than that, you get what you get. So 505, 560, and $705 for various weights. And they'll hook onto your tractor and do everything that weights should. This is the 1200 kilogram weight right here. But there you go. That is the Agro Park weight pack. Next up, we have the Cowshed 80s. This is by, oh boy, Monoliker featuring Fizz 60 Ursin Rainer Farming Agency. 25.42 megabytes to download for all platforms. So this is going to be found in the store under placeables, under animal pens. Down at the very end, the cow shed from the 80s, 121000 to buy, $100 a day maintenance, and holds 30 cows. It says it's from the 80s because it's the 80s style, so... Depending on what country you're in, there might be a different 80s style for you. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. I'm assuming this is... It opens up there. That's good, always just be a pain to get in here. I'm assuming that looks like straw, maybe? In here... Over the side, everything pretty much opens, I think. That one doesn't open, it looks like. Manure, or slurry, excuse me. Not sure what's gonna be here. Possibly milk. It's your cow input there, yep. And then this is probably feed in here, but yeah, that's probably manure actually in this little pit here, but there you go. Yeah, not a bad little uh, cow shed there, so holds 30 cows for you, but that's the cow shed 80s. Next up, we have the Farm Silo Multifruit. This is by Ricardo FSPT, 8.72 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms found in the store under silos. Down at the very end, 48,500 to buy, $4 a day maintenance. Holds 1.2 million liters in it. If it does all crop types, which it says it does, we can confirm that real quick. Ooh, it does not do wool. No, I, didn't, I, did not, I didn't expect it to do any of those. Uh, cotton, yeah, I didn't expect it to do that one. It does, yeah, pretty much does everything. Um, all the solids at least, so that's pretty good. Uh, pretty sweet. See if there's any triggers on this anywhere. Can't go inside. It looks like you can go off the roof if you want. Yep, sure can. Roof looks good. <laughs> Things pretty cool here. I like it. Good luck to it. Yeah, there you go. That is the Farm Silo Multifruit. Next up, we have the Modern Red Bar. This is by Sandhill Modding, 3.78 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms found in the store, under sheds, down here at the end. Modern Red Barn, 57,000 to buy, $100 a day for maintenance. It'll slide open that way, and this one, I believe, is... That'll open that way. I thought it was gonna go up. That'll teach me to think. There we go, looks like a light switch. Theoretically, it does look like a light switch. There we go, light on. Very bright in here. Almost too bright. <laughs> it always looks good. Nice red barn all the way around, so use it for storage of vehicles or equipment or whatever you like, but there you go. That is the modern red barn. Next up in our final mod for the day is the Welker Workshop. This is by the Subby. This is 29.28 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. Um, this is gonna be found in the store under sheds down at the very end, the Walker Workshop, $125,000 to buy. I'm not sure if it has a workshop trigger or not in it, um, to be honest. Don't. <laughs> old DeWalt uh, chop saw blade there, definitely a DeWalt. <laughs> I know the brand's not on it, but it definitely is. Um, yeah, I don't see any trigger. Otherwise, pretty cool shop. Looks well. This looks like a trigger here. See, so that'd be an interesting spot in the bathroom there for a trigger. Maybe they're missing the trigger. They forgot to put it on. Oh, I hit the lights on accident. It's okay though. It looks like that's a cool door. Looks like they should have a trigger right here. Um, I just don't see where it might be. Very cool though. Let's go upstairs. Oh, just a little storage room there. Here, that's cool. Very nifty. Cool little shop, I like that. Office in there. And this door opens as well, of course. That door opens. Go out there. There you go. 
That's a cool shop. I like that. But there you go. That is the Welker Workshop, and that's our final mod for the day. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.